Hi students, welcome back to the board of studies questions. We have already covered every possible question from the module. Now it's the time for us to be doing board of studies questions of this subject that's SCPM. In case you require any help regarding this subject, feel free to message us on our telegram ID at the rate agenext. Apart from that, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, then you can uh, see the description below and enroll for that course. One last thing. If you have any friends or relatives for CA Inter, I'm going to be coming out with a complete free course for CA Inter costing along with the soft copy, along with the test, along with the MCQs. MCQs in any case are already there on our YouTube channel for CA Inter costing also. But the complete course, everything, okay, will be available free on our YouTube channel. So let's start off with the question for today. This is still your chapter number one. That is introduction to SCM. Out of the following, which are correct about Osterwalder's business canvas model? Okay. Business value proposition shall be oriented to the capabilities of the business. Now, this is the first one. Second, key activities are critical for absorbing the cost of support activities. Okay. Third one, key resources has implication in determining activity level. Okay. Now, Oster Walder's business model, I will come back to the diagram, okay, but it was basically a most detailed kind of a business model, which gave you all the things like, you know, from where the revenue comes, what are the costs up and so on. Now, if we start to be examining all these things, okay, then only we will be able to answer whether these statements are right or wrong. Bring me the four options, please. So four options over here. First one, one and two are correct. Then 1 and 3 are correct. Then 2 and 3 are correct. And uh, then 1, 2 and 3, all of them are correct. Okay. Now see, I'll go to the business canvas model first. Now see, this is how a business model looks like. Now, if you see on extreme left hand side, you all have key partners, key activities. Now, key activities, we always say like, you know, a manufacturing company has two types of uh, activities. One are the primary activities, which has five activities. Inbound logistics, that is raw material is coming in. Then operations, the manufacturing is happening. Outbound logistics, finished goods will be going out to the distributors. Marketing and sales, we sell our products to the customer. The marketing, the advertisement required for that and after sales service. Once a product is already sold, whatever is the after sales service, the training, the installation, all those things. Okay. Now, key activities. These are the primary activities. But then apart from that, you will have support activities also. That is uh, infrastructure. Then you all have uh, procurement, you have technology and human resource. Now, obviously, all these cost of support activities have to be borne by the primary activities because customer is going to be paying us for the primary activities, for the goods here as such. Firm infrastructure is ours, our legal department, our uh, like, you know, the buildings where the office is there up and so on. Technology is whatever we all use to make the products or run the business. So, Secondary activities don't fetch any uh, revenue, but then ultimately cost has to be borne by somebody. So therefore cost is always borne by the primary activity. That is one thing. Second, uh, you all have uh, key resources, cost structure and key partners on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you all have customer relationship, customer segments, channels and revenue streams. In middle, you all have something called as value proposition. I hope you all will remember this value proposition is what? See, every business is basically there to cater to the needs of the consumers. Now, that thing is super important. You have to cater to the needs of the consumer. See, whatever you want to be doing, that is of no relevance. What the customer wants, that is of relevance. For a small example, I'm brilliant in teaching a... Uh, say us gaps just an example okay but in india nobody wishes to be learning so therefore what i'll do with that so it is not of much use example in india say a company like say tatas honestly they can sell electric vehicles very good ones for 50 lakhs also they can be producing the cars which have very high end features like one of their upcoming brands i guess is uh, tata uh, anmia or aninia Whereby like, you know, fantastic, like, you know, comparable with Tesla, but those cars will be costing say 40 lakhs or 50 lakhs, those EV vehicles. Is there a market for that? So 
वट एवर इज योर केपेबिलिटी दैट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट माइट नॉट मच मैटर बट वट एवर द कस्टमर मॉन्स दैट मैटर सो देर फॉर वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन केपेबिलिटीज इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन इन दिस केस द नीड्स ऑफ द कंज्यूमर ओके आई शैल बी गोइंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन वंस मोर ओके द क्वेश्चन वॉज दिस फर्स्ट वन वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन शैल बी ओरिएंटेड टू द केपेबिलिटीज ऑफ द बिजनेस नो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द कंज्यूमर सो फर्स्ट वन इन दिस केस is uh, not correct second one key activities are critical for absorbing the cost of support activities of course yes third one key resources have implication in determining activity level see you all will understand suppose you have a sugar mill you want to produce a 500 metric tons okay but then you should have resources no for that so therefore your resources will determine what will be the activity level in case you do not have that much amount of resources then in that case you cannot achieve the activity level that is far beyond your resources so third one also seems to be correct only so first is wrong second and third are correct okay so let's go towards the answers now so therefore i guess uh the correct answer it should be 2 and 3 so therefore third seems to be the correct answer okay that's done this one thing before i'll sign off this is a qr code for all the mcqs of the module every possible mcq whether it is a straight forward a stand alone thing or it is a case study based but every little thing is there on this playlist which is uh, freely available on our youtube channel there is a chapter wise classification also of the playlist in case you all want you all can go through okay that's it i'll see you all next time okay take care of yourself bye